For years, Russia has been trying to convince the world that it's a developed country. The war in Ukraine has shown that this is not true. Russia has always been a gas station country. Russia's economy is based on selling its natural resources. Their profits have not been invested in economic development, but rather spent on wars and stolen by Putin and his friends, a fact revealed by investigations. Russia depends on foreign technology in all areas, including the oil industry, which is vital for the country. The opening of new oil fields almost fully depends on Western technology. In certain lines of work, this dependency exceeds 90%. That's why Russia has already suspended the opening of a range of major oil fields. Almost all of Russia's airplanes either were manufactured abroad or are critically dependent on foreign parts. Russia has already dismantled some aircraft to fix others. The country has started manufacturing cars without airbags, anti-lock braking systems, or other modern features. Their automotive industry essentially went back to the level of the 1980s and 90s. Russian companies have to deal with a tech crisis. Russia has never learned to make modern microchips. Even its largest bank, Sberbank, started taking chips out of old cards to use them in new ones. There is evidence of Russian forces using parts from washing machines to repair their tanks. Russia is just as inexperienced when it comes to manufacturing necessities. One of the largest cellulose manufacturers in the world, Russia is incapable of making office paper. After the USSR fell, Russian science and technology development was weak and slow, and it's not going to be any better in the future. Engineers and scientists are leaving the country. In March 2022 alone, up to 70,000 IT specialists immigrated from Russia. A gas station country cannot win a modern war. When the free world unites, Russia retreats and loses. The world can stop Russia.